drew. The very first comic I drew was this fan-made Garfield comic that I did when I was like nine. This was the Garfield comic that came out when I was born. Okay, back to Twilight. Hello? James, we found it. What? What did you find? The, the Garfield comic, man! <gasps> So remember how I said the first comic I made was a Garfield comic? Of course you remember, I just showed you a clip of it. So apparently my mom kept it. I just, <laughs> that just amazes me. I need to call her, hold on. Hello? Uh, hey mom, I just wanna say that you have a hoarding problem. Like seriously, you need to throw some stuff away once in a while. Okay, bye. Man, I love her. Did you know the creator of Garfield, Jim Davis, is 70 freaking years old? And he's still making Garfield? How do you even- And he's made 14,000 comics? Oh, he has co-artists and he doesn't even draw them anymore. Well, I just lost a bit of respect for my hero. If you guys wanted to start reading Garfield, you have a lot of catching up to do. So you know I love Garfield, it was a big inspiration to me. So much so that the very first comic I ever made was about Garfield. And I know in the video I said that I made it when I was like 9. But looking back at this, I want to say that I was like 6 months old. It's that bad. So, everyone shut up and without further ado, this is the very first comic I made. Okay, let me explain some stuff. Let's go over this panel by panel. See how there's a graphic in this corner here? Well, Jim would make a unique graphic on every Sunday comic. So this is a Sunday comic, everyone. That means it's in color. Orange is a color. So the first panel, there's Odie, Garfield, and John. And John is saying, Happy birthday! It's Garfield's birthday, and they're about to eat this physically impossible looking cake. So there's this running joke in the Garfield comic that Garfield hates his birthday because he's getting way older. He's in his late 30s now, jeez! So keep that in mind, because in the next panel... Wah, you might not be able to tell from the comic, but that's the sound of a fire truck pulling up. Because in panel number three, there's firefighters saying, Where's the fire? And you know they're firefighters because this guy's holding a fire hose. That's a hose, okay? I was six, you perverts! I just want to point out that I spelled fire like how it should be spelled. F-I-er. Really, this is the wrong way if you think about it. Fiery. In case you didn't get the joke, there's so many candles on Garfield's cake that it was enough to warrant a visit from the fireman. Because Garfield is so old and he just has a bunch of candles on his cake. And then in the next panel, John explains to the fireman that there was nothing to worry about. My cat just having a bee day. Garfield's still confused though. And then in the next panel, the cake is falling apart as we speak, and we hear another sound effect. It's beep, beep. Now, if we follow the speech bubble, we can clearly see that the sound is coming from the ceiling. John already knows what's happening because he says, oh no. And then in a brand new color, blue, it starts raining on them. <laughs> it was the sprinkler from above. John runs away going, ah. You know, something similar happened with sprinklers in the Incredibles movie. Oh shoot, I gotta call it the Incredibles 1 in case you're watching this after June 2019. So if I got inspiration from the Incredibles 1, which came out in 2004, that would mean I would be a minimum of 8 years old. So maybe I did make this comic when I was 9. That is, I'm assuming I stole that joke from the Incredibles movie, which I wouldn't put past myself. Alright guys, what if I told you there was a second Garfield comic that I made? I'm a little hesitant to show you because, uh... I don't know what's going on in this one. So let's look at it and see if we can figure it out together. So it starts with a Garfield graphic. It's another Sunday comic. It doesn't seem as excited as the other one though. Then in panel one we see... What is that? I think that's a toothbrush and that's toothpaste. And it says Teth on it. Okay, panel two. John walks up to said Teth brush and Teth paste. And then he says, They say you should use to pee big tooth past. I was in honor classes, you know. Then it looks like he's about to brush his teth with a massive teth brush, and then Garfield, that's not pee, sis. And then I don't even know. I don't know what that is. And then there's two, and one's green. And then we see Garfield say, yes it is. <laughs> so like I said, I don't know what this one's about. I don't know what the joke is. I just don't get it. So I will make you an offer. I will give. $20 to anyone that explains what this comic is trying to do. Actually, let's make it a prime $23. So $23 to anyone who can decipher this. I will be taking your guesses on Twitter and in the YouTube comments, and I will give out the $23 to whichever explanation I think explains the comic the best. So not necessarily the first person to get it will get the $23, just whichever one I see first. 